Hello, this is Mrs. Neubauer, and let's work on our penmanship. So, what is the pirate's favorite letter? You'd think it would be R, but his heart is always involved with the C. <laughs> okay, so our goal today for lesson number 16 is to write the letters. We're going to work on I, J, K, and L. So another four letters added to our capital um, uppercase letters. So what do they look like? So we have a few that just definitely don't look like they're cursive. I'm sorry, they're prince uh, brothers or sisters. So our I is very fancy. We're going to come back just like we did with our loop letters for our lowercase. Bring it off to the left and then our little exit stroke. So I probably doesn't look like a print I. J definitely doesn't look like a print J either. So J, we have a nice curve and come up. We come straight all the way down underneath. We don't come underneath on a lot of letters, but J is one of the first ones here. And coming back. K looks like a K. That's going to be our easiest letter for today. We're going to do that candy cane hook all the way up, just like we did for H, straight down. Then we're going to start a little bit over. Come back on a diagonal and curve it and come out. And our last one is L. I just, I know it's going to be a pun, but I love the L's. L for love. Um, L is just one big curve. We curve and come down. We curve and come up. We curve and come down. We curve and come back. L's are fun to write, which I guess that would be my one of my favorite letters for L. Okay, I'm going to switch the camera and then we'll get started. Okay, so hopefully we have number 16 uppercase letters, I, J, K, L. So here's our reference of letters. Uh, we're going to trace over the letters by seeing the lines and trace them on our own. Um, make sure you're holding your pen like a little triangle tripod and you have really good posture. You're giving the L. Okay, let's start with our I. So I looks nothing like a print I. So remember, we're learning how to uh, read the letters and write the letters for cursive. So you're doing a great job. We're going to go loop letter back. So it's like a backwards L. Come up to the top. Curve it back down to the bottom. So right about the middle. And then the second stroke is that exit stroke. All right. I for ink. My favorite ink. So let's trace over mine that I've made. Curve and come up. Curve and come down. You kind of cross a little bit underneath the halfway point, a little bit closer to the bottom. Curve and come back, and our exit stroke. Okay, definitely a new letter, or a loop letter backwards. So that's why when we did our warm-ups, I have you go forward and backwards with your loops. Here we go. Here's why we did that. There's a reason I do things. <laughs> All right, so... Curve and come back, working on our cursive. And what you want to do is you want to have it kind of um, the same on each side, as we say, symmetrical. So there's that same space in the middle. All right, two more to practice. Trace over, try to stay on my letter. Building that muscle memory. Going into the brain. Okay, last one. This one's a little bigger. And that's the thing about handwriting, as you might never write the letter I twice. It's going to be different. Okay, we got to try on our own. Now we have to leave some space because then we come back, so don't go too close to your last letter. So we start at the bottom, curve and come up, curve, 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 curve and touch. And we're going to curve back down and do that same kind of curve. When we touch the bottom, curve it back right around the middle and do your little exit stroke like we've been doing. Wow, that one's hard, isn't it? Okay, so you're going to do I, 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 I to the end. Okay, J. J is a fun letter. It's kind of like a backwards lowercase f when you think about it. It's kind of like it a little bit. So J um, is one continuous curve line stroke. So, well, I guess I get a little bit straight there. Okay, so we start at the bottom. You can see my little one there. Curve and come up. 
Now, when we come back around, we're not going to do that same curve. We're going to straighten it out. So you're straightening it out straight through the bottom line. Then you're going down to that um, underneath to the next line. We call it a, a, a descender, but that's a word we don't have to worry about just yet. Got a lot of words going on here. Okay. Let's try. We got five to practice. So curve and come up. Straight down through the bottom line, curve it to come back and go and end kind of like the lowercase j. The lowercase j does the same thing when we do the j. This one has a little bit bigger loop though at the bottom than the lowercase j. All right, continue to practice straight down, curve and come back and intersect at the bottom line. So say we we're writing J for jam, A would be next. Once we get through all these upper cases, we're going to practice more words, connecting letters, and also we're going to do our sizes again. So we are working at a large size because that's the best to learn at. We have our medium size, we have a small size, and we have our wide rule size. Don't worry, they're coming up. We're almost halfway through our uppercase. We'll get on to focusing on words and then uh, sentences, writing letters next to each other, which make words and words next to each other make sentences. Okay, so let's try a J on our own. So we start at the bottom, give yourself some space. All right, we're gonna curve and come up. Once you touch the top, and it goes straight down all the way to the bottom. Curve to the left. Do a nice loop and then exit through that bottom dash line. Okay, so you're going to continue your J's. Each J is going to look a little different. Um, I'm going to try another one. I kind of had a little bit of straight down there. I think it was because I was talking. So curve and come up. I'm going to start curving back at the middle dash line. Oh yeah, that's way better. So straight down, curve, and exit. Good. Okay, our easiest letter for today. Yay! We like easy letters. We don't like hard letters the whole time, do we? This one is probably the hardest day we have so far. The I's, J's, and the L's will be a little bit more advanced, but I think you can handle it. We're on our lesson 16, so you definitely have the C is for cursive class done. Okay, so K, it's like our uh, beginning with our H. We have our kind of candy cane loop at the top and then straight down to the bottom. Um, our second stroke was a little curve. Now, some people might do it straight, but I just think cursive is a little curve and come, come back to that middle dashed line. And then the last one is you got a little curve and a little curve, a little under curve and exit. So. If we were going to write K for kid, we would say I would be next. Okay, so let's practice. K's take a lot of space, so we only have um, four K's to trace. This one shouldn't be too bad, though. I think you have that first stroke down from your H's. So I'm going to curve and come down to the middle dash line. You're going to not lift your pen, curve and come down and exit. And then that's the same exit for the letter R. So a lot of the letters have the same letter strokes. Just do it in a different combination. All right, curve and come down, different order. Okay. Getting that muscle memory. K is fun. Don't have to write too many uppercase Ks unless you have a friend that has, or maybe your name has a K for their first letter of their name. Okay. Oh, there we go. How do you have a pun for today? Okay. <laughs> Let's try one on our own. So give yourself some space. You're going to curve and come up, do that candy cane, and then straight down to the bottom. Nice, slow, and controlled. You might want to stop going so fast <laughs> until you get your confidence down for your K. Okay, so we're going to curve and come back. Don't lift that pen, a little curve and come down and curve at the bottom. Okay, so I hope you like those K's. 
We'll move on to our L. L, my favorite letter of the alphabet. I'm so excited that you guys get to learn L today. So L, one big continuous stroke. That's all we got to do. So let's just start practicing right away. Start at the top, curve and come down a little bit. Um, a little bit above. I wouldn't do the middle. A little bit above the dashed line. Curve and a nice loop. Touch the top. Curve it. Come back a little diagonal. Curve into the middle. Curve and end. Gotta get a little bit of water. Okay. Try that L. L for lion. Okay. Curve and come back, up and touch. Come down to the middle and curve and go back. Curve and end and exit. So if we were going to write lion, we'd continue with our I and continue on to our O and to our N. Okay, so hopefully you're liking L just like I love L's. You can just like it today. You don't have to love it just yet. <laughs> All right, we got our L. A lot of curves going on, a lot of curves. Hopefully you get that down. Okay, so basically it's almost the same, like a loop at the top and the loop at the bottom are just about the same. Okay, and come back in our nice loop and end with the curve coming up. Okay. Time to practice one on your own, unless you already did. Okay, so we're going to start at the top, curve and come down a little bit above the dashed line, curve and come back, touch that top line, diagonal curve down, touch the bottom line, go to this middle, curve it and come back down. Woo! All right, good practice today. Okay, so we can see we have our regular you're going to practice the three, the three, and try three and three on your own. So you have three, three, and then three on your own. The last one is one of each, one of each, one of each, one of each. All right, so let's just wrap it up. I feel like we did a pretty good job accomplishing, accomplishing our goal number 16, learning to write the letters I, J, K, and L of our uppercase letters. So you've done it before with lowercase, now you're doing it with uppercase. So that way we're going to move on to our next set of letters and keep on going into words. So uh, if you're having a hard time with them, just print off the worksheet again and keep practicing and progress over perfection. Have a good day.